Who is Priscilla Presley? American entrepreneur and actor Priscilla Presley married the cultural icon and the rock and roll king Elvis Presley. Priscilla was very protected and kept in the shadows by Elvis for a long time. It was after their divorce when Priscilla started living a more celebrity-style life. Today, Priscilla is a strong and independent woman. She is a veteran actress and a successful entrepreneur that many people admire. The beautiful and talented diva has acting credits in hit movies like Naked Gun and many more. Priscilla has also been very successful in her business ventures. She was the former president of Elvis Presley Enterprises. The company turned Elvis Presley's mansion Graceland into a top tourist attraction. Today we are going deep into the life of Priscilla Presley. Get ready to learn everything there is to know about this powerful diva. It includes her personal life, whereabouts, and her relationship with Elvis. Priscilla Presley Childhood Priscilla and Wagner was born on May 24, 1945, in Brooklyn, New York. She belongs to a white ethnic background. Her biological father was in the Navy and died in a crash when Priscilla was only months old. She grew up with her stepdad, an Air Force officer, Paul Beaulieu. Because of his job, the family has to move a lot. Priscilla had a memorable childhood in Connecticut, New Mexico, Maine, and Texas. However, it was uneasy for a shy young Priscilla to move from place to place continually. She did not get a chance to make good friends. Her father Paul was transferred to Germany in 1956, and the whole family was settled there. It was here where Priscilla met the love of her life, Elvis Presley, for the first time. At that time, Elvis was serving in the army and well, the rest is history. Priscilla Presley Family Priscilla's biological father, James Wagner, was a pilot who served in the Navy. Her mother's name is Anna Lillian Iverson. Priscilla's parents married when they were pretty young. Anna gave birth to Priscilla at the age of 19. Her biological father James Wagner. Ensign James Frederick Wagner graduated from Colstock High School, Titusville, Pennsylvania, in 1940. In early 1943, he served in a submarine as a storekeeper third class on the USS Beaver AS-5. After returning to the U.S., James received Navy pilot training. He served in the Navy and was assigned to the new aircraft carrier's air wing, the USS Franklin D. Roosevelt CVB-42. On August 10, 1944, when James was 23 years old, he married Priscilla's mother. James and Anna had dated for more than three years. At a very young age, James Wagner lost his life on duty in an air crash on November 3, 1945. He was piloting a single-engine two-seater SNJ Navy training plane. Mother Anna Lillian Iverson Anna Lillian Iverson was born on March 13, 1926, to Albert Henry Davis and Lorraine Davis. She is of Scot-Irish and English descent. Anna fell in love with James at a very young age and married pretty soon. As James was in the Navy, Anna had to take care of their child. Being a mother at a very young age was difficult for her and her husband as well. After James' unfortunate death, life was hard for Anna and her daughter, Priscilla. In 1948 Anna met a US Air Force officer, Paul Beaulieu. He was from Quebec, Canada. The pair married within a year of dating, and together they raised Priscilla. Priscilla took her stepfather's family name, as he was the one who took care of her. According to sources, Paul left this world in 2018. Her son Navarone Garibaldi. Navarone Garibaldi is a 33-year-old musician. He is the frontman of Them Guns, a group based in Los Angeles. His music career seems to be going well. Them Guns have written songs for a movie starring Kiefer Sutherland's daughter Sarah. According to Priscilla Presley, Navarone doesn't need any family connections to make it big in the music industry. He is doing great on his own. The only child of Elvis' daughter Lisa Marie Presley. 
Lisa Marie is Elvis Presley's only child. The 44-year-old singer-songwriter and mother of four is doing great in her music career. Lisa has issued three successful albums till now and is working on her new projects. Priscilla Presley husband Elvis Presley Priscilla and Elvis met when Elvis was serving in the army on September 13, 1959. They first met at a party in Bad Norheim, Germany, and fell in love at first sight. Priscilla was only 14 at the time, whereas Elvis was already a sensational figure in the music world. Elvis and Priscilla started spending a lot of time with each other. Ultimately Elvis had to depart from West Germany in 1960. It looked like the end of their beautiful relationship. After returning to the US, there were rumors about Elvis being in a relationship with Nancy Sinatra. After Elvis's departure, Priscilla received a lot of interview requests from the media. She was becoming famous and received lots of letters from Elvis's fans. Priscilla Presley and Elvis Presley's marriage. The couple married on May 1, 1967, at the Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas. The wedding was highly publicized, and Colonel Tom Parker had arranged the event. The wedding featured minimal guests and was over in only eight minutes. Priscilla's wedding look is famous till today. She looked utterly mesmerizing on her special day. Many of Elvis's closest friends were not invited to the actual wedding ceremony, which caused friction. The following day the pair held a press conference and a massive $10,000 breakfast reception. The couple's friends, family, and business associates from MGM and RCA attended the event. Following the wedding reception, the newlyweds boarded a private plane for a short honeymoon in Palm Springs. On May 4, they returned to their private ranch and spent time with each other. The couple took a break from their busy lifestyle to enjoy each other's company. When did Priscilla Presley get pregnant? Soon after their wonderful marriage, the news of Priscilla's pregnancy started spreading. Priscilla, who got married at a very young age, did not expect to raise a child so soon. At one point, Priscilla was pretty upset by the news. She thought it could lead to problems in her marriage. Priscilla had previously asked Elvis about birth control pills, but he insisted that they didn't need them. The psychological pressure of being pregnant at a very young age had taken a toll on Priscilla. After some time of their marriage, Priscilla did get pregnant. They considered abortion at one point, but both concluded against that decision. Their only child Lisa Marie was born after nine months of their wedding on February 1st. Why did Elvis and Priscilla split up? Elvis had told Priscilla that he would never make love to a woman who has given birth before their marriage. This painful confession of Elvis always hurt Priscilla. Following his statement, Elvis started having affairs with other women after Priscilla gave birth to their daughter. Feeling lonely and uncared for, Priscilla started seeing other men, too. The affairs slowly killed their marriage. Priscilla soon fell in love with her karate instructor Mike Stone. She confronted Elvis about her newfound love. Elvis didn't take the news positively and hired a hitman to kill Mike. Fortunately, Priscilla and his friend convinced him not to do the heinous deed. They agreed on getting a divorce, and it got finalized on October 9, 1973. In an interview, Priscilla stated, I did not divorce him because I didn't love him. He was the love of my life, but I had to find out about the world. The pair shared custody of their daughter Lisa Marie. Did Elvis love Priscilla? Despite the false rumors, Elvis always stayed in touch with Priscilla. It seemed like they really were in love. Priscilla's parents were strict Christians who closely watched their daughter's whereabouts. Elvis had to win over Priscilla's parents to be with her. In the summer of 1962, Priscilla's parents allowed her to visit Elvis under certain conditions. The conditions were that Elvis had to pay for a first-class round trip with a chaperone throughout the journey, and Priscilla had to ride home every day. Elvis quickly agreed to all the conditions, and Priscilla met Elvis after a long time in LA. 
dealing with Elvis's death. Despite their divorce, Priscilla always loved Elvis. Their marriage failed, but that didn't mean she didn't care for him anymore. When Elvis left the world on August 16, 1977, Priscilla was devastated. She didn't want to live anymore. But with the support from her family and loved ones, she slowly accepted his death and moved on. Is Priscilla Presley dating anyone now? Following the tragic divorce, Elvis and Priscilla decided to remain friends always. They moved on with their lives and dated different people after that. Priscilla dated Mike Stone for a while, but that didn't last long. Priscilla met a man named Marco Garibaldi, whom she dated for more than 20 years. They ended their relationship in 2006. They have a son together. In 2020, Priscilla Presley was 75 years old, and she is still beautiful. She was romantically involved with many men. However, most of her relationships were platonic. What is Priscilla Presley doing now? Priscilla Presley is living a healthy and happy life supporting her children. In a recent interview, Priscilla talked about a new Netflix animated show, Agent King. The lead character will be inspired by Elvis, where the character will be portraying an agent. The search for the voice of Elvis's character is still going on. It looks like Priscilla is deeply involved with the project. Priscilla mostly works on keeping Elvis' dreams and legacies alive. Priscilla Presley Net Worth Priscilla Presley is a successful actress and entrepreneur. She has participated in several business projects. Her divorce from Elvis left her with half of the income from their shared properties. She also received a portion of his publishing royalties, alimony, and a cash settlement of $725,00. After the sad demise of Elvis Presley and his father, Vernon Presley, Priscilla was deemed as a trustee of Elvis's estates. With all the estates and properties, Priscilla created Elvis Presley Enterprise, EPE. She turned most of the estate into tourist attractions. In 2017, Priscilla opened a $45 million attraction at Graceland. It features an Elvis exhibit. The premise also has $90 million worth of luxurious hotels. Priscilla's acting career has also provided her with numerous successes. However, most of her earnings come from her Graceland endeavors. According to sources, her current net worth is somewhere around $50 to $150 million. Lisa Marie owns Graceland. Lisa Marie Presley still owns Graceland. She retains 100% sole ownership of Graceland Mansion. The mansion was once the home of Elvis Presley, and now Lisa manages it. Elvis Presley's costumes, awards, furniture, cars, and instruments are kept safely in the mansion. After the tragic demise of Elvis, his family buried him in the premises of Graceland. The land holds all the memories and legacy of Elvis Presley. His daughter is determined to protect and preserve those memories till eternity. Priscilla Presley Social Media Instagram Priscilla Presley is active on social media platforms. She loves sharing glimpses of her personal life on Instagram. With more than 232k followers on Instagram, Priscilla loves to share her love for Elvis and his music. For more update visit celebcritics.com.